Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Sharp. Bob Papa with Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. We're going to dial in on the Giants' second first-round draft pick, Evan Neal out of Alabama. And, Sean, this is a player that brings versatility. He played guard. He played both tackle spots, playing for a big-time program. There's a lot to be excited about. Yeah, there is, Bob. Versatile, also very powerful. I think coming into the combine, there were people talking about him being the number one overall pick. So for the Giants to get Evan Neal at seven, I think they feel like this was a steal. All right, who was Evan Neal? Where is he? All right, he's right here. This is the left tackle. Now, He's 320 pounds right now. People would say he's a svelte 320 pounds. I don't know how that's possible, but <laughs> the body type that he has, he was at 380 at one point in his, in his life, and then he trimmed down. But I want you to watch what he's able to do at the point of attack right here. All right, this is the defender he's trying to block right here. He's basically on an outside shade, we would call it. His job is to push him off the line of scrimmage, create movement. Watch it, what the, his strength in his lower body, what, what he's able to do right here. Not just get movement on this guy. I mean, he displaces this defensive end, as you can see. But look at the finish right here. This is what you want from your right tackle. Now, he's, this is on the left side right now. Bob, as you mentioned, he's going to flip to the right side. But this is the kind of movement you want at the, at the point of attack. And anytime you can pause the film right there and your offensive lineman are, is doing that to a defensive lineman, you are winning football games. So that's what Evan Neal is bringing to the table. Now, flip it over on the right side, and that's exactly what you're going to get when you run zone plays to the right. He's got a very strong lower body. He's got a lot of power upstairs as well with his punch, which I'm going to show you right here. Now, when you're 320 pounds, 330 pounds, the question is, can you change directions? Can you move? What's your lateral quickness like? All right, here he is in left tackle. This is against Georgia. All right, this played against Georgia in the SEC championship game uh, and the national championship game. Here he is in a punch, what we call punch and pass. All right, right now, this is a twist. So he's got, this is the penetrator right here. Here's the looper. So the challenge is, can you keep your hips square and can you punch the penetrator and carry him to the guard and then still maintain that square hips as you bounce out for the looper? So I want you to just watch as he carries this punch. All right, there's the punch right there. He's carrying him to his guard. He's not gonna let his guard get blown up. And then now, as this defensive end is trying to grab him, look, you can see right there, look, that defensive end is grabbing his jersey. He's trying to pull him in. He's not letting him come off on the twister. So you've got to yank that arm out in order to ricochet and take the hit off the quarterback. And you can see right there, he does a great job of that. So the power is there. The athleticism is there. The change of direction. Now let's talk about the punch. I think when, you, when you're a guy like Evan Neal's size, you have long arms, you've got to use these tools. All right, here he is at left tackle right now, and these are going to serve him well on the right side. This is against Ole Miss. And I want you to watch, Bob, the extension that he gets on this punch. All right, here's the set. You can see the athletic set. This is what we call a short set because this defensive end is in a tight alignment right here. If he was in a wide alignment, if this defensive end was out here, lined up out here, he would have to take a more of a vertical set. But here's the set. All right, now I want you to watch the lockout. There's the lockout right there, right? That's exactly what you want right there. Now, I want to see the face out a little bit more right there, but he does a good job with the punch, with the lockout, using those long arms to just wash that defender. That defender wants to take an outside rush right there. My hands are up. He's trying to chop my hands down, and you can see the replace right there after the chop. Does a great job of just washing that defender by. Now the quarterback's got to get rid of it. You can't hold on to it for too long, but you can see the hands, the punch, the strength right there. And I think for Evan Neal, he absolutely, as you mentioned, can handle right tackle. He started out as a, a guard early on, then flipped to right tackle. And I think the other aspect of him, he played in a pro-style offense. He had Bill O'Brien and Doug Marone as uh, two of his coaches down in Alabama. So he'll be ready for all the concepts and the stunts and the blitzes. That's a look at Evan Neal as we take you inside the film room presented by Sharp.